Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And what's the Intel Core i9 processor in less than five minutes? And let's get started. Why now, Intel? So Intel has always had three performance tiers when it came down to their processors. They always had the i3, the i5, and the i7. With the uprising AMD Ryzen processor surfacing in the market, Intel needed to step up their game quick. So Intel announced a beast of a CPU, and that's the Intel i9X. This is the first of Intel's latest X-series processors. Plus, they added a twist into the socket of the new Intel i9, and that's basically the CPU socket is the LGA 2066. This means you need to seriously upgrade that motherboard with that LGA 1511 socket. Price tag on the new processor is going to hit the pockets pretty deep retailing at a thousand dollars should you buy it is it really worth it that's the question that you should ask yourself well this new line is really new and it's intel's way to show amd that they're still part of the cpu game definitely wait it out and see what else intel has for the cpu x series just don't go off the bat and start buying it because eventually something new and better is going to come out in the intel lineup so just wait it out so what's really new with the i9 it starts off with 10 cores and 20 threads. Now this is the i9-7900X, but you could go up to the i9-7920X with 12 core, 7940X 14 core, 7960X 16 core, and holy moly, the 7980XE with 18 cores. With all these new processors, that basically means more money. Now with the XE version, it's gonna roughly cost you around $2,000. Now the base clock speed is going to start with 3.30 gigahertz and the max turbo clock speed is going to start between 4.30 to 4.50 gigahertz. And that's only the i9-7900X processor. Now the TDP is only 140 watts plus depending on which processor series you get. And some of the cool things that I love about this processor is the following. It has Intel hyper threading technology which is enabled. Intel virtualization technology and it has Intel virtualization technology for direct import output. Awesome for virtualization. Now the wrap up. Now Tech Publications has already done benchmarks on the i9 and it seems that it's been about 10 to 15 percent improvement from previous flagship processors within the Intel lineup which is a good thing. Like the i9 CPU series is going to be super fast. Come on with that base speed come on it's really going to be fast but don't get me wrong, it's going to hit your pockets hard with that price tag. $1,000 is pretty tough for a processor. I recommend to wait and see what Intel has to store with the Intel X series processors because give it a couple of months down the line and I guarantee you Intel is going to have something better and faster in the lineup. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.